I don't want to go to bed. Oh, more arguments off to bed. Come on. Fuck you, Grandpa. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> well, at least tell me a story, please. Well, how about the history of our magical town? Nah. Billy, I'm going to tell you the story of the founding of our town. The founding of goddamn Ikea Heights. Our story begins with a group of settlers heading west, seeking a better way of life. They were searching for a new place to call home. What was wrong with their old home? Well, Billy, they were fleeing persecution. Rules. They wanted to be free. Free to cheat on their spouses. They were led by one strong, hyper-fertile man. Ezekiel. Ezekiel Ikea. When I took to your bed, you said things would be different. Things will be different, Mary, as soon as we reach our new home. I pray we arrive soon, or I might miscarry. Again. Oh, right, we are cursed. It was then that Ezekiel's trusted friend Jacob brought the real bad news. Ezekiel, I think we're lost. Plus, our meatball supply is running dangerously low. God damn it, damn it! He exclaimed. Ezekiel knew that without food and water, they would soon be dead. And if not dead, then driven to more cannibalism. How did we come to this? What could have been the greatest success since loaved bread will be the biggest joke since contraceptives. But just then, when all seemed lost, something caught his eye. Oh! A local savage named Gasgruen was out hunting and stumbled across the group of settlers. Me, Gasgruen, native to this land. You immigrants. He speaks so strangely. Let me try. How, Gasgrund? We are Swedish. Take us to your village. The noble savage felt a bond of friendship with these foreigners. Or perhaps it was pity. The settlers were greeted as friends of the village. They were taught the ways of the land and of the people. They were taught to hunt and to track. They were taught to find drinkable liquid from the trees. They were taught the culture and how to grow things in the land, things they'd never seen before. They were taught how to use every part of something and to make that something into something else. Something that could fit with another thing and be built and taken apart easily over and over and again. Ezekiel knew they had been very fortunate and that Providence had lent them all a great hand. Thank you, noble savages. We Swedes are a proud people and cannot express our gratitude in your native tongue. So let me just say, Three cheers for Ezekiel Ikea and his heroic victory! <laughs> oh, Mary, welcome home. I'll finally make a honest whoring milkmaid out of you. The child isn't yours. <laughs> the settlers had found their new home. In appreciation for all that Ezekiel had done, they decided to name the town Ikea Heights in his honor. And it's why we hold outside parties called tent sales each season of the year to protect us from savage ghosts while we celebrate. Wow, so that explains everything. I bet you never realized such an exciting history behind such a normal town. I sure didn't, but I feel bad for what happened to Gasgrund. Yeah, we don't talk about that. That's the end of the story. The story of Ikea Heights. That's the end of the story of Ikea Heights. Excuse me, fellas. You're not allowed to film in the theater. Oh, he's just taking a picture of us. Sorry.